cherry fruit flies in cherries, obviously. Uh, in New York, we actually have two fruit fly species. One is called the cherry fruit fly, Regulus faustus cingulata. That's the main species. And then there's another one, black cherry fruit fly, our Fausta, which is secondary in importance, mostly infest uh, bird cherries or fire cherries. Uh, it can be uh, distinguished by, if you're so dis inclined, you can look at the wing and you can see there's a little donut hole uh, pattern in the wing here that you don't see on the regular cherry fruit fly. Um, they're, they both have similar biology, one generation a year. Um, the black cherry fruit fly emerges first um, in, uh, in uh, late May or early June when the early start, tart cherries first start to color. Um, they can start uh, appearing about the time of petal fall, Macintosh, uh, cherry fruit fly about one week later, and they have emergence periods that extend into early July. Uh, you can monitor for them using the yellow sticky boards baited that have come with a bait, ammonium acetate. Uh, it's best to, uh, if you're going to monitor for them, uh, choose a site that has an abandoned uh, uh, block or abandoned trees to time the adult emergence. Uh, the adults are not mature enough to uh, lay eggs for about a week because they have to feed for about that time and then they'll fly into um, uh, orchards to lay their eggs. Uh, like most maggots, they uh, cut a hole in the root to, uh, with their ovipositor to deposit an egg under the skin, and the larvae feed in the pulp and can cause this little separation from the pit, and they can cause the uh, pulp to uh, brown. Um, after developing for two to three weeks, the full-grown larva punches a hole through the skin here. You can see one here, and I think one is there, and they drop to the ground pupate. Um, most growers don't feel it's uh, worth the time and effort to actually monitor for them. Basically, they just apply two to three preventive insecticide sprays starting about uh, a week after first emergence in an abandoned site. So it's always good to, uh, if there's somebody in the area who's been monitoring for them and can tell you, okay, cherry fruit flies are out. Uh, sometimes in the newsletters we can uh, tell, uh, publicize that fact. Uh, options include imidan for tart cherries and plus uh, lorzban and some pyrethroids, a few other things.